here with David Wilkinson, the head coach of the league Gainers. They win this one uh, in a pretty dramatic fashion, 16 to 14 over Westbury. Coach, uh, what's emotions going through your head right now? I mean, three years of winless seasons, you pick up your first win as the head coach here. What's, to, to, uh, what's going through your head right now? I, I'm just so proud of the kids because I mean, it looked bleak. It really did. In fact, there was this, on that last drive, I was actually, I actually prayed to God. I said, God, I just need a miracle. And, and the kids kept believing, and, and we got a miracle because they put us in place to do it. And after a, a succession of losses like that, for them to just believe and keep fighting and, and a good thing to happen for us and us be able to, to come out with the win and capitalize, it's just so special for them. Now they're going to see that in life, it doesn't matter how bleak it looks. It doesn't matter how hard it looks. You can still come out on top. And that's what I'm saying. It's just a great lesson for them, and I'm so proud of them because they, they worked so hard, and it's it just very good for them. Well said, Coach. Uh, let's go back to the first half. You guys had an impressive run there at the end where you had that ball go out of the end zone. They got a touchback. Not only that, they ran the ball back for a touchdown at the 50-yard line when you guys looked like you had an impressive drive. Uh, how do you guys come back to that? What do you say to you guys on the sideline something like that? Well, you know, we just told them to keep their composure, that it, that it was a tight ball game, and that we, we knew the style of this offense is, is to stay close, stay close, and try to win it in the end. You know, and, and so we knew we were in good position. You know, I mean, we dialed up that fake field goal, man. It looked beautiful. And it just didn't, it wasn't meant to be, it didn't happen. But Mo Montrell came up and I said, hey, we're going we're to need you later, you know, to make a play. And he did. He made a play uh, late. And, I mean, it's just, just really good. And then Robert Powell gave up a touchdown. He was looking in the backfield of safety. They threw up the, the, the only touchdown they got offensively. Threw it over the safety. He said, well, he's the kid that came back and made the miracle catch that got us down in field goal range. So it's just awesome. The perseverance. I'm so proud of him. What were you looking for? It was fourth and nine. It was your last shot. And you knew you didn't have any timeouts left. You knew they could have run the clock out. If you didn't get that play. What were you looking for in that play? We were looking for a prayer. Actually, we were looking, <laughs> we were looking for. Uh, we, we were reading the safety on that. We were looking. We ran a little in route, and then we ran a go route. And we get the safety jumped a little bit. Was Skyler got flushed, so he just threw it up for grabs, and our kid just came down with it and made the play. Coach, you had a couple of close games last year. Uh, this time you come up away with the better end of it. Congratulations on your first one as a head coach of the Ganders, and go enjoy this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Reporting here from Baytown, Texas, I'm Mark M. Johnson, TexanLive.com.